Everybody, March is National Kidney Month, which is a good opportunity to talk about a health concern that affects more people than many realize. One out of every three of us is at risk for kidney disease. A Denver mom tells Andrew Hio she didn't see the signs. I feel very lucky to just be here. Yeah. Lisa Latz has 12 year old twins who keep her laughing. Mom and physician are her two titles. She takes neither for granted after discovering during her pregnancy that something was wrong. I started to not feel very well. I started to feel very tired. I was very puffy. In fact, those are typical symptoms of kidney disease. Tired, trouble concentrating, poor appetite, trouble sleeping, muscle cramping, and swollen feet and ankles. Signs also not uncommon in pregnant women. But her training as a high risk pregnancy doctor told her there was something wrong. I developed acute kidney failure, which then turned into chronic kidney failure. Yeah, so it had happened like that. Latz was suddenly fighting for her life all while pregnant. She delivered the twins at 33 weeks. I literally, after the babies were born, I, I got catastrophically ill sort of woke up two weeks later and was on dialysis. These pictures are the first time she met her preemies, Sophie and Daniel, when they were two weeks old. That was a tough day. According to the National Kidney Foundation, 37 million Americans have chronic kidney disease. It's called a silent killer because people often don't know they have it until the disease has progressed. Early detection is key, and the best way to do that... When they get their annual physical and asking them to go, you know, test me for kidney disease, please. With 100,000 people waiting for a kidney transplant right now, Lats is grateful one of her friends was a match. If there's someone in your life who needs a kidney, to be able to donate and give that gift of life is an incredible thing. My donor tells me it changed her life. Anne Trujillo, Denver 7. And thank you. And the National Kidney Foundation is hosting a fundraiser Thursday night featuring great chefs of the West. For more information, go to kidney.org slash greatchefswest.